once again Braxy here coming to you live from the central part of Africa in the country of Cameroon so uh, family uh, I'm gonna tell you again why I choose to come and settle in the jungle instead of in the city I'm telling you the jungle is definitely better than the city I decided to settle in the jungle I mean, I, I decided the jungle setting because the benefits that comes with uh, living in the jungle are with those that come with uh, living or staying in the city. Me being here is fit preordained. You know, I hear people say Africa is under the thumb of white supremacy. That and uh, that might be true. You know that might be true, but not if you choose to live like I'm living. Like not if you choose to come and settle in a remote area, like right in the middle of the jungle. You barely, you know, you barely know there's another world out there that exists, unless you interact or on your daily basis with the city, with people in the city. Then you will feel the influence of white supremacy. Other than that. You don't even know other people exist. The only people that exist is the one that are around you. Now, if you ever wanted to get away from, you know, white supremacy, then, you know, living in a remote area, it doesn't have to be where I am. It could be anywhere else. You just have to be in a remote place where, you know, you won't have to interact with them unless there's some minerals or, you know, uh, uh, resources uh, that they want then they will come at in that case you just have to prepare yourself you, either you gonna fight them off or you go you know abandon and go somewhere else no that's on you so yeah living in a remote uh in a remote area is definitely a plus if you you know planning to get away from everything and just being on your own you know being left alone you know minding your own business you know being in a remote area is definitely a plus like way way like far away from the city is best I mean far away from any city so I can tell you this place is peaceful you know this place where I am like the setting that I choose is, is definitely peaceful it's way it's too peaceful I might I might add um first of all like only the realists will show up to this place that's a guarantee like only the realists will show up to a place like where i am like nobody like no fakers will ever come here no no fakers will ever ask me if i have a place for them to come and stay like no fakers will ever come here the only people who might be interested the only people who might be tempted to do what i'm doing are the realest people Cause no figures is ever like they wouldn't even survive here for uh, they wouldn't even make they wouldn't even survive a day here so no no figures will ever come here that's a guarantee so you don't have to worry about all them figures you know them do nothing gossip all day time wasting fake people like living in the jungle they wouldn't even look at you because they they're not made for this they, they can't build they can't do nothing the only thing they're good for is gossiping so if you ever come to live in the jungle unless you like you know like me going back on the internet and talking to you guys like i mean like sometime i i, I come to the city like today like i mean the city is just so i could upload and talk to my people but other than that you will never have to interact with them they never come to the jungle so that's one plus one big plus the air is pure and the food is fresh you know living in the jungle i'm talking about living in the jungle i'm not talking about living in the city even you know in most city in africa the air is pure and the food is fresh most city in africa the air is pure and the food is fresh in most city but i'm saying if you ever come to the jungle it's fresher you know the air is fresher i mean the air is purer and the air 
Man. I'm, uh, let me say it again. The air is purer and the food is fresher if you are staying or living in a jungle setting. Being here, like living in the jungle, is like just you on earth. It's like where, like when I'm in the jungle, it, it's like it's just us over there. It's just us living. We are cut off from everybody else. We are cut off from everything. It's just us. So if you ever want to feel, like if you ever want to see what it feels like to just to be the only people living on earth y'all need to like try living in a remote place where you you have contact with nobody it's just you and the people that you with if you ever want to is if you ever want to you know see what it feels like to be the only or the last people on earth or the last people on the planet you might want to try living in a remote area for a little bit or well, you know, just try it, and you see what I mean. No one bothers us. It's like we make our own rules, and nobody bothers us. We make our own rules. Our rules don't affect anybody else but but us. So we make our own rule, and there's nobody. Nobody bothers us. It's just us. And also living in the city. And living here, the local won't be coming asking you for money or to scam you because there is no need for money out here. Like, what, what are you going to do with money? There's no stores. There's no, um, there's no uh, housing for rent. If you want to leave someplace, if you want to, if you want to leave under a roof, you got to build yourself. There's no place out here where you're going to be like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to rent here. Nah, you got to build your own. So you're not paying bills. You're not paying electricity. You're not paying none of that. So why would you be asking anybody for money out here? People would just look at you like, you crazy. You're asking us for money. What you going to do with money? We don't have stores. We don't have gas stations. We don't have, you know, we, got, we don't have gas stations. We don't have... Uh, we don't pay rent. We don't pay electricity. We don't even have electricity unless you, unless us, like me, I brought some solar panels and we use that. But other than that, what would you need money here for? So nobody will ever come, come, come at you asking you for money. Unlike in the city where people might be tempted, to, you know, asking you for money, and you know, trying to scam you and, st and stuff. Like here, nobody will try. Nobody will ever try to scam you because you gonna just ask them like, "What do you need money for?" Besides, nobody carries money over here, so that's another plus. And um, escaping all the drama, escaping all the drama, especially now that I see a lot of a lot of us from the diaspora coming back. It's this a lot of we are bringing a lot of drama. We are bringing a lot of drama, and there won't be drama over here, unless, like I said, I get on the internet almost every day. Like since we're still building in the jungle, I'm still coming in the city because I need to get stuff done. Like I need to talk to y'all. I need to upload stuff. So I, I'm still coming in the city. I'm still coming in the city, you know, but if I ever get done with everything that I need, then I won't be coming back into the city. So that is for escaping all the drama. And um, talking about me, I came here to run away from all the drama. That's the number one reason why. I choose to settle here to escape all the drama to run to run away from everything that I know and start anew that's 
But that, those are the reasons why I came here. Just those are the reasons why I, I chose to settle in the jungle, you know, to just run away from everything that I know. Because everything that I know is trash. And I just wanted to start anew. And I wanted to forget the past and start a, a new future for myself. And I wanted to stay away from all the negative you know, all the negativity, I just wanted to stay away from it. That's why I choose to stay here. That's why I choose to uh, settle in the jungle. That's why I choose to make the jungle my home. And I wanted to live my life other than what I've been taught all my growing up. You know, I only, I only knew certain things when I was growing up. And I just want to forget those because they didn't work for me. And I wanted to live life the way it was intended for us to live. When I say the way life is was intended for us to live, y'all need to come, y'all need to live in a remote area to feel what it is to live the way we was intended to live. Like the way we, like human beings were intended to live. That's the way we are living. That's the way I'm living right now. Stress-free. No bills, no pressure, no none of that. No bills, no pressure, no drama, none of that stuff. You are stress free. This is just beautiful, man. And no fakers would ever, ever come here. Because this is no environment for them to thrive. They'll never come here. Never come here. They'll never come here. This is no environment for them. They don't thrive in this sort of environment. So they'll never come here. All them fakers, man. They will never ever come here. And for me, it's peace of mind. For me, it's peace of mind. Being here is like being here is like being born again. You get to live life the way it was intended. Being one with nature. Doing things according to nature. This is the way life was intended for us. And this is no joke. Like, I'm not even... This is the way life was intended. When I, I'm, I'm telling you, when I got depressed, when I was battling depression, and came here, I stayed in the city, and I felt like the same stuff, you know, I felt like it was the imitation of what I just came, you know. I felt like it was like I felt like being in the city. I felt like I I wasn't. I'm, I was still there, but it was just it, it just got better. But when I when I got here, when I got into the jungle setting, yo, things just got better. When I was going through that, uh, when I was going through depression. And I came to Africa. My depression went away. Like it was gone. Even being in the cities. Because people were always happy, man. People were, would always make you laugh. I mean, they would scam you here and there if you're not careful. But for the most part, you know, they would make you laugh. They would make you laugh. I mean, if you open up, if you expose yourself, then they will get you. That's why I always tell people, always know your ABC. Always be careful. Once you got your ABC on lock, you could be anywhere. And just be on alert. Just be ready. You don't let nobody take advantage of you. But when I first got here, you know, these people made me laugh. 
they made me see life in a different way. And I loved it. But when they took me to the jungle, yo, it was just something else. I was like, I was amazed, man. And that's why I'm telling you, man, I'm building my little village. And when I'm done, in two, three years, yo, I'm going to have y'all come over here, you know, just to relax. I'm going to have you come here just to heal. I still, it might take me like two, two years, maybe three. Two, maybe three. If I'm lucky, it might take me less than two years. But if I'm not, you know, my projection is that, is that uh, in two, three years, I should be done. Have me a little, you know, build me some little tiny houses out here, you know. Build it in a way that uh, my people from America, from England, and every place else from the diaspora can come here, you know, and have a half of what they are accustomed to. Once I have that on lock, you know, then I'm going to have y'all come over here, you know, walk with you in, in the jungle. This is going to be a place for healing. I'm going to have y'all come over here, man. We're going to walk around. If we ever get a chance to see monkeys and other animals, we'll see them. That's my main goal because it had helped me. I'm telling you, when I was going through depression, coming to Africa is what helped me. And settling in the jungle just made a new, a, a new me. I feel reborn. And like I said, yeah, in two years, three years, I should be, I should have at least, you know, 10 to 15 tiny homes so I could host you know 10 15 people one bedroom you know it's got they gonna be like them tiny homes are gonna be like 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 bedrooms with bathroom in it so they gonna be like one bedroom one one bedroom tiny home a big bedroom with with your little kitchen in it and your bathroom in it there won't be no AC out here because we don't have electricity. The only thing we got is solar panels and those are not powerful enough for us to run uh, air conditioning and stuff. The only thing we could do for you is just open the window. You know, have the air come from the outside. So don't come here expecting air conditioning because there won't be none. But we make it because it's 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 the jungle. The air is fresher. It's 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 a little cooler, so it won't be getting so hot. But it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. It's not gonna be cold. And the road to get here is tough. That's why I need me a good truck before that happens. I need me a good good truck. A good Toyota, Toyota or Chevy truck. I just need me a good truck. Even one of them Ford, Ford 150. A good truck would be useful over here because of the conditions of the road. So for me to have all of that, I need at least two years, two to three years. And when that's done, I'm going to have y'all come over here to heal. Y'all come over here for one month, two months, three months. Come here, you heal, and then you could go back or you could continue to, if you, I mean, you could do whatever after that. But I'm telling you, the way life was intended, that's how we living. Please like, share, 
and subscribe until next one I'm not gonna say bye but I'm gonna say peace you know I'll see you on the next one peace